the Curiosity rover captures an image of what appears to be pillars of fire erupting from the Martian landscape. Where does this light come from? Are we seeing anomalies on Mars close up and personal? If this truly is something inside the red planet, it is unknown to human science. The vast majority of Mars is a mystery to us. I really don't know what to make of these uh, fires on Mars. April 2nd, 2014. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, the Mars Exploration Team drives the $2.5 billion Curiosity rover around a crater the size of Connecticut. Jim Bell is the scientist in charge of interpreting the images from the rover's cameras. We're uh, partway along the path from where we landed uh, along the plains, trying to get to the base of Mount Sharp, this big mountain that's in front of us. The navigation cameras on the front of the car-sized vehicle are capable of capturing one image every eight seconds. While the path in front of the rover is clear, the image from 9 a.m. Universal Time seems to show something in the far distance, something that should not be there. We're looking off towards the horizon, towards this distant ridge, and there's this bright dot. The image triggers a media storm. Could it be evidence of fires on Mars? I really don't know what to make of these uh, so-called fires on Mars. It does make you wonder, are we seeing anomalies on Mars close up and personal? One explanation for the so-called anomaly is that Curiosity has simply filmed another NASA rover exploring a distant part of the same crater. But satellite positioning data confirms that the nearest rover is thousands of miles away. We know there are no man-made objects at that location. So how does that light occur? At first, NASA suggests that the weird streak of light is a glitch caused by cosmic rays bombarding the Martian atmosphere and hitting the camera's sensors. With no magnetic field, uh, the solar high energy particles are coming in all the time, peppering the pixels. So that bright spot is the same kind of feature one would expect from a very energetic cosmic ray. But it's harder for cosmic rays to explain what Curiosity sees when it returns to the area the following day. On the same crater rim, the mysterious fire is still there. What's interesting is that the spot of light is seen in two photos taken a day apart in the same place, but viewed from different angles. So that doesn't really fit with a cosmic ray hitting the camera. Because it's on two separate images in the exact same location, one has to assume there's something physically there that's causing the, uh, this light to appear. The second image causes scientists at NASA to search for another possible explanation for the streak of light. Mars has a lot of rocks. When you get rocks that are either glassy and very reflective or flat and very mirror-like, in the right orientation with the sunlight coming in at them, it's possible to bounce that sunlight like a mirror right into the camera and create a glint. But the challenge with this apparently simple explanation is that the two images from Curiosity are taken from two different angles. It's not something where you're seeing sunlight hitting something. This looks like it's self-illuminating. It looks completely anomalous. It looks like there's some sort of a geyser or eruption coming from the Martian surface. Flames erupting from beneath the Martian surface sounds impossible, but recent NASA research suggests that the red planet's interior once concealed some of the biggest volcanoes in the solar system. If Curiosity were roaming the flanks of a giant volcano and somehow on the horizon it saw something billowing out of the ground, well, that could be the sign of volcanic activity, it would, it would possibly make sense. But visual analysis doesn't support the idea the Martian fire is of geological origin. It doesn't really look like volcanic activity at all. So again, we've got a problem. Where does this light come from? 
until we have the technology to penetrate beneath the surface of Mars. The red planet's interior will keep its secrets. The vast majority of Mars is a mystery to us. We know the outside very well, but once you peel that layer back, uh, we still have a lot to learn. A NASA satellite captures a huge cosmic explosion. Suddenly, this giant object just appears out of nowhere. It looks like there's something in the orbit of Mercury. Right there. What is that? Looks like a flying saucer. What's that doing there? NASA scientists look to distant stars to unlock the secrets of the universe. But sometimes the answers can come from surprising places. And some of the greatest mysteries appear at moments when no one is looking for them. NASA's stereo program uses twin spacecraft to look at the sun from two angles. The cutting edge extreme ultraviolet sensors create unique images of the most destructive events in the solar system. These are these huge explosions from the surface of the sun, and they put out a lot of mass, a lot of plasma that is emitting light. And as this plasma travels, it encounters the planet Mercury. Mercury's proximity to the sun makes it a prime target for these solar rejections. These magnetized bubbles of burning plasma are called coronal mass ejections. And usually, as long as they don't fire at Earth, they do no harm. But in December 2011, a blast lashing towards Mercury appears to strike something. Just before striking the planet Mercury, suddenly, out of nowhere, something appears. It looks like a spacecraft. It's almost as if a spaceship's cloaking device just got destroyed. It's like those moments in Star Trek where the Klingon bird of prey suddenly reveals its presence. The object becomes known as the Mercury Mothership. The appearance of the unidentified object on images from NASA spacecraft generates intense speculation. A lot of people look at that video and say this proves that spacecraft are hiding out there in our solar system, and this one, the camouflage, was simply blown off by the solar ejection. I'm not sure which is cooler, the idea that there's a cloaked ship hiding near Mercury, or that we caught it with its pants down when that solar flare hit. 